Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to talk to you guys about the Bedhead Curly Pops Curling Wand. This is the one and a half inch. If you guys want to hear what I think about this, then keep on watching. So I'm going to show you guys how I curl my hair with this while I explain to you how I kind of feel about it. Um, I don't like to section off my hair. I do, but I do it myself. So I'll just take like a section like this and I'll wrap it around here. One thing I do have to say about this is that I would recommend using the glove. It does come with a glove. I would not do this freehand like what I'm doing right now. Um, I've been doing this, like curling my hair for a really long time. So I've gotten really used to it, but I even burn myself from time to time and it hurts. So one of the things about this curling wand is that it sets to 400. So all it does is have an on and off switch. It doesn't have like um, a setting where you can change the heat. Normally with curling wands, I'll end up setting it to like 375. Even with my hair straightener, that's what I go to, but this one heats up to 400. I don't have a problem with it though. I just like section off my hair like I'm doing now and I hold it there for about 10 seconds and then move on to the next piece. It does have this little thing that juts out right here, if you guys can see it, I don't know, um, so that you can set it down and it'll hold it up off of the table. The thing with that is, do not touch it. <laughs> Once you've heated your curling wand, just leave that thing sticking out. It does get hot, so you don't want to burn yourself. But anyways, like I said, this thing does come with a glove and I would highly recommend using it because I have burnt myself on this one before. It hurts so bad. But yeah, I just do sections like this. I'll do like the top layer and then I'll go down underneath and then do that layer. So I really do love the curls that this gives me. It's really like loose, subtle curls. Like it looks like that natural beachy wave and I've really been wanting a curling wand that does that. Since this one is so big, it does give me that. These kind of calm down after a few minutes so they don't look like as curly. So before I purchased this, I did notice that it didn't really have the greatest reviews. I love the curls that it gives me. I don't think that it needed such bad reviews, but I don't think that this is going to work for everybody. It is a one and a half inch wand. That's a really big wand. So if you have like really short hair, I just don't think this would work for you. But for me, it does work really well. I don't think I would have used this when I had really short hair, but because my hair has gotten so long, my hair just looks better with the like long, you know, more subtle curls. I don't like curling my hair in the really tight spirals. So this is how I section it off. I just find all the parts that I have curled and I pull it to the side. I don't know if, how well you guys can see. And then I'll reach back here and grab another top piece that wasn't curled yet. And then I'll go around and do the underneath. I know it's like really weird, but I just don't like having to section off my hair. I feel like it takes more time and I just usually end up ruining it that way, honestly. Every time I've ever tried to do that, it just didn't turn out well. So when I've got like this much of my hair already curled and it's pretty much just the underneath layer, I'll kind of toss that back out of the way and start working on the section the second section, I guess, if you guys want to put it that way. Now, I also want to say the best way to get your curls with this one is to pick smaller sections, like just not as much. Now, if I were using like a smaller curling wand, I would take more hair and end up wrapping it around the wand and then running my fingers through it to get a better curl. With this, I won't do that because it's already giving me that loose curl that I need. So it is different than using my other ones. Also, this bottom part of the wand stays cool so you can go like this let go of your curl and hold it there for a second and then let it go that will give you a tighter curl if that's what you're looking for as well you guys are going to like this curling wand if this is the curls that you're looking for and i'll show you guys what it looks like when i'm completely done but i really enjoy it one thing i did want to mention because i saw it in some of the negative reviews was that people were complaining about a smell when they first started using this. Now when I purchased this product, it comes with a little paper just like every curling wand does. And it has a warning on it where they do tell you that it is going to smell a little bit when you, like for the first couple of uses with this thing. And it says like, it's not burning your hair and not to worry or anything like that. So I'm assuming that the people who purchased it and wrote those reviews didn't read the paper that came with it. Not everybody does. I mean, it, maybe it's weird that I read it. 
I just like, I don't know. I just wanted to read on it, I guess. To, I mean, I don't always read like instructions or warning labels on everything I use. I don't know, maybe it's weird that I did. You would think that you wouldn't need to when it's just a curling wand, but I'm just throwing it out there for you guys. It does mention the smell and it is bad. I hated the smell on this the first couple times, I'm not gonna lie. But if you guys are putting product in your hair or you're using hairspray, you're probably not gonna smell it that much anyways. I typically won't. I'm the type of person where I don't like to put hairspray in my hair. It's just not my thing. I'll put a heat protectant in there or something, but I just don't usually like hairsprays. A lot of people were saying that the curl doesn't last as long. I'm assuming if you use hairspray, it's going to last you longer. Like, I mean, if you think about it, when I use a different curling wand that's a lot smaller and I'll curl my hair, it'll give me that like loose natural curls throughout the day because my curls are kind of wearing off anyway so it's kind of the same thing with this as it is with any other curling wand if you're not using hairspray it's gonna start to you know your curls are gonna start to fade naturally throughout the day it's just going to happen but if you guys like these kind of videos make sure you give it a thumbs up because I've actually got another curling wand I want to show you guys too and I don't know if you guys want me to show you like how I curl my hair kind of like what I'm doing now or not but, I mean, because I pretty much just do the same thing all over, but I don't know. I got another curling wand, and it's, like, a little bit smaller than this one. So, this is how my hair turned out. I really love the long, natural, wavy curls that this curling wand gives me. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.